The State Department of Labor and Industry says a ride at the Washington State Fair will not be able to reopen until it undergoes inspection and gets a new permit. 19 people had to be rescued last night after the El Nino ride stopped working in the middle of a run. Today, we're learning more about the incident and getting a new look from home video at the scene. People can be seen dangling in midair, even upside down at the top of the ride. Here's King 5's Alyssa Hahn with our top story. The ride's operator, Fantastic Rides out of Oregon, has informed the state that the issue may be due to an electrical problem. While no one was injured yesterday, the company's been tied to about a half dozen incidents in Washington state, two of them resulting in serious injury. The state fair is often in a state of perpetual motion, which is why this site of the El Nino ride frozen mid-run Monday evening seems so off-putting. Passengers were stuck in midair until firefighters could rescue them one by one. Augustina Boyer Redmond said it was hard not to panic. And it just kept going around the circles on our side. And that's when we knew something was wrong. And it, it, then all of a sudden it went to a stop. And then everybody was freaking out saying, get the firefighters and everything. It was about 10 minutes tops until we got everybody off. Fair spokesperson Stacy Van Horn said no one was injured, but the ride will stay closed until it undergoes inspection by a third party. Oregon-based Fantastic has operated all the rides here for the last 40 years. According to a report from Labor and Industries, the company's had seven incidents involving its rides since 2006, two of them with injuries. In 2009, the lolly swing toppled over with 12 to 14 kids at the Puyallup Fair, some of whom sued and settled with the company. Last year, a bucket on the Phoenix wheel in Port Townsend flipped over, dumping a couple and their child on the ground. Fantastic points to reports that the couple stood up on the ride to take photos. It's quite troubling. Ashton Dennis represents the family suing the company. He says while the state issues permits each year, safety oversight is lacking. The legislative body just hasn't delegated that authority. L and I uh, issues uh, a certificate that it can work, but there's no double checking that we know of. I can't speak on behalf of what happened at another fair. What I can say for F Fantastic is they have a spectacular record. They really do go above and beyond in their safety. They actually host nationwide safety trainings for other other carnival owners. We've reached out to Fantastic and its attorneys by phone and email. We have not heard back yet. LNI offers some useful information on how to check if a ride is permitted and other safety information you might want to know before you go to any fair. We've included it on our website. In the newsroom, Alyssa Hahn, King 5 News.